You can't be an introvert to be a James Bond. It's impossible. Imagine being told the same joke every day for a couple decades. Do you know why we're making this film? Um, because you want to know what it's like to be a James Bond. Well, it might not be so easy to walk around with the name James Bond. In his compelling new documentary, The Other Fellow, filmmaker Matthew Bauer follows a diverse group of men across the globe who have the exact uh, blessing or curse. So they share the name James Bond. And he joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Lovely to be here. I, I can't imagine uh, any of these people uh, live a life as interesting as the real fake James Bond. So what, what is the point of the, of the documentary? Well, I wanted to find out what it was like if you lived every day with the most famous name in the world. I mean, you can only imagine you see the word James Bond and the name James Bond just everywhere, kind of every day. And I was curious what it was like for these guys where, you know, you're seeing your name on billboards, people are speaking it every day uh, and how that changes sort of who you are as a man. Well, before we get to the everyday people you found in all corners of the globe with this name, let's talk about how Ian Fleming came up with the name of James Bond for the character and the real guy it was based on. Yeah, so Ian Fleming, when he was wanting to create this character 007, he said he wanted a really flat, quiet name. Uh, and then on his bookshelf in Jamaica was the book Birds of the West Indies by the Philadelphia ornithologist James Bond. And he went, oh, that sounds like a really flat, quiet name. And he stole it and used it. Uh, and of course, now, kind of 70 years later, it's sort of the most famous name in the world because of that. Huh. And uh, well, I, I would imagine there's a mix of people who like it and dislike it. What are some of the stories from the, the people that you met? Uh, well, I'm here in New York right now uh, where we found a gay theater director called James Bond. Uh, <laughs> and he has to deal with, of course, the ramifications of having the same name as the world's most famous womanizer. Um, and then actually in Indiana, we came across an African-American man um, who'd actually been arrested for murder, uh, not because his name was James Bond, but obviously he became the headline across all the local news right. uh, because they could get the James Bond arrested for murder clickbait headline. Oh, yeah. Up yeah. Um, so he, he received a lot more publicity for that case than I think would normally happen. The, the ornithologist you talk about, who the original James Bond uh, that Ian Fleming got the name from, he had an issue with this, didn't he? Didn't he seek out Ian Fleming at one point? Well, it was actually more his wife that had the issue with it. She sort of took it up on his behalf. Um, and so she eventually found Fleming's address and sent him a letter uh, saying we're not very happy about this. And he actually then wrote back to them and said, well, well, in return, you can use my name anytime you want if he wants to name a bird after me, which, of <laughs> course, she didn't really appreciate either. Oh. Um, and so in the documentary, we have the original footage of them when they actually went to meet Fleming uh, and confront him at GoldenEye. Um, and so we found the original footage of that and the original interviews with them as well. Wow. So generally, is the consensus more of a curse than a blessing? The consensus is that it's more of a curse. However, the most interesting parts of this documentary are actually where the characters then start harnessing the power of this force, if, if you will, and using it and turning it into a blessing. Oh, I see. And it's um, it's curious to me that parents out there would name their child <laughs> James Bond after. I mean, you see the ones that might predate it. But uh, did any of the people give you an idea like, I don't know what my parents were thinking? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I mean, that's the kind of thing. It is really like, mummy, why did you do this to me? I mean, the <laughs> thing is now, if you call your child James Bond, and we do explore this in the film, you probably have a quite good reason. But in the 60s, as one of my characters says, sequel was a very new concept at the time. Nobody was expecting that this series would still be going uh, seven years true. later. Um, huh. you know, so I think it is somewhat understandable back then. Nowadays, I think it's much more <laughs> of, a, of a choice uh, to do this. Yeah. Well, it's interesting. Yeah. It's called The Other Fellow. It's in theaters and on demand on February 17th. Nice to meet you, Matthew. Lovely to be here. Thanks, guys. Thank you.